It's Wednesday morning and Mayor Juan Diego Guajardo is finding his range. This is Texas after all. His local diner offers the best all-American breakfast around. Made and served by Latinos. But like the mayor of any small town, he's never off the clock. Then it's off to work. Juan Diego lives in Texas because he says it's too dangerous for him to live in the Mexican town he's in charge of. His commute is short, just a few miles, across the Hidalgo International Bridge and into Mexico. Like thousands of others along this border, he calls both countries home and says Donald Trump's wall will help no one. Lo que debemos de construir, como te comento, son son puentes, no muros. Considero que con ese tipo de vocabulario despertó mucho el racismo. Juan Diego is the mayor of Rio Bravo in Tamaulipas State, northern Mexico. This border town has seen its own share of crime, lying as it does on the front line of Mexico's drug war. A war the mayor knows all too well. Juan Diego's brother was mayor before him. He was killed by a local drug gang 10 years ago after he began investigating corruption. Juan Antonio fue una persona que luchó bastante, ¿no? Por México, una persona que que luchó bastante por Tamaulipas, por Río Bravo. Despite the dangers, he vowed to continue his brother's fight. Todo bien. Tienes que llevar los dientes. But he didn't want to put his wife and children in the firing line, so lives in the U.S. and commutes across the border to work. Like him, all his family have Mexican and U.S. passports. Aún sin embargo, está difícil, y todos tenemos miedo. Gracias. Several hundred miles along the same border, they are also scared. You name it, we've had it: theft, break-ins. Vandalism. I've had a couple of guns pointed at me, but nobody's ever shot at me. John Ladd's family have farmed cattle in Arizona for over a century. His land is a key illegal crossing point for people into the U.S. from Mexico. The immigration issue has doubled my work, my maintenance. Fences, water lines, roads. Uh, we let Border Patrol drive on the ranch. They tear the roads up. They don't reimburse you. The illegals cut the fence, break the water line. I got to fix it every day. The work has cost him thousands of dollars. Pretty much the reason you stay ranching is you take care of the land, it'll take care of you. John's land ends where Mexico begins. I can't take you on the actual border, but we can get right up here. It's close enough. A decade ago, George W. Bush ordered a fence between the two countries. It's now being refurbished. It covers 700 miles of a 2,000-mile border. John says it's made little difference. Despite supporting Trump, he has no faith the new president's plan will either. American people think, oh, look at this wall, nobody will ever come now. That, that's the problem. American people don't know what's really happening. Um, this war won't stop people. No. No, it'll slow them down. But if they want to come, they're going to come. So this is a, what a, a publicity stunt, in my opinion. Well, look at this. You know, this is our southern border. It's a border that's about much more than people. There is almost $600 billion of trade between the U.S. and Mexico every year. President Trump has promised to renegotiate trade agreements, sparking fear on both sides. He's also said his war will stop the flow of drugs across the border. 
Este es el proceso que hacemos de la frontera para el brinco a Estados Unidos. Mm -hmm. Miguel's cartel buys methamphetamine for $2,000 a kilo. Their cars and trucks go through official border crossings into the U.S. every day, each with at least 10 kilos of meth hidden inside. He says his organization makes around a million dollars a week. He only agreed to speak to us if we didn't show his face. Es un plata, ¿cuánto es en Estados Unidos? Una alza de precios. Estas son 3 mil dólares en Phoenix. It's a profit margin he's determined to keep. ¿Tú qué piensas de la, de la pared que quiere construir Trump? No veo que sea un impedimento para nada. Es un, es un obstáculo más que hay que brincar. Simplemente y... Pues se dice que el mexicano tiene muchas salidas. Se le va a buscar una salida y se le va a encontrar. Siempre les hemos ganado la bateada, como es. Both searches have been stepped up since Trump took office, he says, and admits fewer packages are getting through. But for his cartel, there is an upside. Con más aferramiento va a meterles el producto, aunque cueste más trabajo. No, ¿por qué? Pues porque va a haber mucho más ganancia. And he knows the border guards can't search every vehicle. ¿En cuánto tiempo se lo van a estar fumando en Estados Unidos? Para mañana a las 7 de la tarde ya la tienen los gringos fumándose. <laughs> Build bridges, not walls, has been an anti-Trump rallying cry. And the president's rhetoric against Mexico has left many reeling. Ahora que se ha, se ha escuchado los comentarios, ¿no? este, la gente sí, pues sí hay sentimiento, hay mucho dolor, mucha tristeza. ¿no? Pues sí, la verdad es de que ahí es complicado. La gente sí trae un, un sentimiento, ¿verdad? Porque siempre se había ese, ese lazo de, de amistad y, y, de, y de corazón hacia Estados Unidos y México. ¿no? It's not just Juan Diego who thinks so. Every day, hundreds of American tourists cross this bridge for a taste of Mexico. Trump's request for $1 billion to build his wall has been denied by Congress. Most people here don't seem so keen on it either.